With regards to retirement age, it is done in a scientific approach. As an actuary, basically what you look at the life expectancy. And if you see the life expectancy is increasing, then typically the retirement age tend to increase. But in terms of with the medium to short term, we not see any retirement age past 65. I heard people informing <laughs> me that NAS pension is going to 70. That's, that's not true. I mean, at the end of the day, we reform in 2014 and we set it at 65. It will remain 65, right? The question is whether, and it's 65 at 2028. 20, what you could do in one of the reform measures, speed up the time when you reach 65. We could say 2026 20, instead of 2028. 20, those are the measures typically I would see around the retirement age. I mean, and it's consistent with regards to the region. I mean, the average retirement age in the region is 65, most plan. One of the challenges with us in the region is that we don't have what we call life tables. These are tables that determine the mortality of our population because of our smallness and also lack of data. But we've done some work, the Caribbean Actuarial Association, with the Society of Actuaries in the U.S., where we trying to develop the Caribbean life tables so that we can get better estimate around how long life expectancy at birth and life expectancy at retirement. But as far as these reform measures, it's 65 for now. <laughs> I mean, I can't talk about the future, but I believe 65, based on my personal judgment, would be there for a while. What statistics we use? We typically use the life expectancy table from the United Kingdom. And what we do is historically get the number of deaths and birth from your local statistical office or registry. Then you look at the historical pattern of deaths and birth and you kind of do some projection relative to the UK life tables but it somewhat reflect the Caribbean sort of our realities. So that is how we estimate with regards to the demographics, like the life expectancy. A challenge for us is also the fertility rate in terms of number of live births. It's declining. I mean, in the 70s, it used to be five, and thing. now it's declining to almost two. So that is a concern, and that is why our population is, is falling. Also, another important factor which we are challenged in the region is, is immigration. I mean, what we have to do is really crude estimate around immigration because our statistics on immigration through the region needs improvement. So we generally have to do some rough estimate of um, migration. But we can see it that the migration among the working sort of a population, a sort of a brain drain issue, because what is happening is that this issue of population aging is facing all of us globally uk canada and the us and if i point to canada they very they softening their immigration policies they targeting young professionals and so forth providing economic opportunities then you have persons from latin america and the caribbean moving creating a further challenge for our population aging so i mean those are how actuaries typically get an estimate around that but what we do is that the review is done every sort of a three years so the projection is done over a 60 year period and the or 75 year period so we also do a review every three years and every three years you would assess in terms of the quality of your estimate it's calling our term the gain loss if you migrate to another caricom island that says not caricom okay if, if you migrate to the u.s for instance, we'll encourage you to join the voluntary contribution. But if you choose not to, upon turning age 65, then what you can do, come to the NIS and you get, you get a grant. So you don't lose it. You get a grant. And hopefully when you go to the States, you work and contribute to the Social Security. So when you combine, at least there's something decent for your retirement. But it's important to mention that if you go, for instance, in the Caribbean, what, what would happen is that when you reach retirement age, they would look at how much you contribute in St. Vincent, how much you contribute in Barbados, you totalize and you determine your pension. So you move, but you don't lose in the region. That is what we call the CARICOM Reciprocal Agreement. And we have an agreement with Canada as well, where we totalize.
So you have an you, you have a working relationship with other social security other social providers security. in the region. Yes. Right. So if you're a skilled person moving from island to island within the CARICOM um, mm -hmm. labor force and you want to you know continue to receive those benefits, you can make that happen and continue to receive those benefits outside of the geographical location of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Absolutely. Absolutely. So right. that's part of a critical component of the CSME. <laughs> hmm. Move and don't lose under social security.